Hello and welcome to my night routine. First things first is we need to wash our hands with antibacterial soap. So give me one moment, I'll be right back. Okay, hands are all clean and rings are off. It's time to get started washing this face. This is me after a full day. Now I normally do this step in the shower, but for the sake of you guys, I'm doing it in front of the camera here today. But I'm gonna be using the Circadia Lipid Replace, yeah, lipid replacing cleansing gel. And I'm just gonna put this on my hand and I'm just gonna lather it up. And this is a special technique, but I'm just gonna go up, down, around on the forehead. And then I'm just gonna knead at the bottom like this. I'm gonna massage that cleanser in. This is much harder to do outside of the shower than it is in the shower. We're just gonna go across and then here I'm just going to really scrub that cleanser in. And I'm gonna have to wash two times when I'm wearing makeup, which I tend to do a double cleanse every single night, even if I'm not wearing makeup. I'm just gonna go around like this, make sure to get that forehead real good. And underneath too. And you see there's not much left on my hands, but now I'm just going to rinse this off my face and then cleanse one more time. Hold on. Okay. So as you can see, most of everything is off, but just to make sure it's really thoroughly cleansed, my face is dripping all over the place, um, I'm gonna go in one more time with the same cleanser, foaming it up, needs more water. And same technique, make sure to get the back of your hands when you're doing this so that it flows evenly. But we're just gonna go up, flip over, up, around, and back down and knead. And I make sure to get right underneath here because sometimes I get little, little baby pimples there and I don't have time for that. And back of the hand, make sure you're really massaging that in. Cross the lips. Make sure to get your eyebrows real good too because sometimes makeup gets left over in there. And your hairline also. A lot of hair product and makeup will sit inside of that area and clog pores. Okay, so now that the second round is on my face, I am going to take a white washcloth, white because we can bleach it and make sure it's actually sanitized. And I'm gonna put hot water on it and wring it out and then I'm just gonna wipe my face. So let's do that. I'm going to do my forehead first. So we're wiping in this direction and again in this direction. And I'm holding here and I'm just gonna swipe underneath my eye and the side of my nose. Same here. And then for this, this upward motion like that. Make sure to get all of the stuff out of my nose. You know in other countries, people actually clean the inside of their nose regularly. Oh, that was really interesting. It's probably a good idea because we breathe in all sorts of stuff all day. And again, with the hairline, make sure to really wipe that area. And I will show you why in a second. <clears throat> Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that on the, can't really see it on the finder, but there is leftover makeup from my hairline. And again, just go around the chin area and wipe here. And what I like to do is take my fingers like this and I'm gonna do the same motion that I was doing when I was cleansing like this. To make sure my lips are wiped and around is wiped. And again, underneath 
here to make sure everything see and I might have to just go in one more time right there hold on one sec I like to really make sure there's nothing left over I don't want to see anything left over on the towel okay that is everything and as you can see I have a couple little friends that are trying to be there um, I am scheduled for a hydrocolonic actually tomorrow so I will be making a video about that as well take you along with me I hope you're not squeamish but okay so that's the cleansing portion of it and I'm just gonna get rid of this washcloth use this a new washcloth every single time a new one every single time okay so now I'm just going to take some toner it's the circadia uh, blueberry white tea hydrating mist and I actually go between this and the licorice root one um, I think it's licorice root and mulberry I think that's what it is and I when I'm using it on my clients I like to spray in like a, a four motion but I actually prefer to just spray it in my hand and then apply it with my hand so that's what I'm gonna do now tap 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 and then I'm just going to massage in an upwards position because you never want to be dragging your skin down gravity does that for us naturally we do not need any extra help there um, but again just kind of massaging it in an upwards direction now I'm just going to put some CeraVe eye cream on and this is just a really basic eye cream but I like it because I have sensitive skin and I know I'm just like hydrating the area and I'm just gonna kind of like barely graze my skin in a circle direction so that I can make sure it's really in there and again and I don't know if you can see how much that is, but it's not very much. You don't need that much eye cream. The same thing, barely moving it along your skin. Your eye skin is the thinnest skin on your body. Therefore, it has, um, it's most vulnerable. So yeah, just again in the upwards direction. Now I have to wait and let my face completely dry because my next step is tretinoin. And with tretinoin, you wanna make sure your face is completely dry before you go ahead and put it on your face because it can irritate your skin if your face is wet or damp. So I will be taking a little time, letting my face, you know, dry and chill out for a second and then I'll come back and I'll put my tretinoin on. Okay, so now my face is completely dry and it is time to put my tretinoin on. I need to wash my hands again because I was on my phone, so hold on. I'm not kidding when I say that I do not touch my face unless my hands are sanitized. This is what my tretinoin looks like. It is the 0.25. It's a lower grade tretinoin, but currently I don't feel like I should go up. Um, maybe in the future I will go up, but for right now, this is working pretty well for me. And I am, see that I'm gonna put a pea-sized amount and that's gonna cover my entire face. So, sit that down and I'm just gonna tap, tap. And I'm gonna go here, 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 make sure to get there, there, nose, a little bit more of the chin, cheek is a bigger area, and then I like to go right underneath, because like I said, you know, I get little, little friends under there. So I am just going to rub this in gently and make sure that I'm not like doing any scrubbing motion i want my fingers to be gliding across my skin and i usually don't put that much on my nose actually and i try to avoid this area here and right underneath my chin right here um it tends to be a lot more sensitive and peel a lot 
and so I just kind of like leave that area alone for the most part um, or I'll put tretinoin on and then follow up with like a sealant um, an occlusive barrier like Vaseline or Aquaphor okay let's get this forehead and it should just be absorbing pretty easily without you doing that much manipulation and I like to just massage it around to make sure that I'm hitting my whole face evenly and let's go ahead and get that area right there because I had a little spot that's trying to be there and again always in an upwards direction never ever be dragging your face down okay so that is all in my skin now and now I'm just going to take a Tyranese inhibitor and I talked about this before but I choose to use hydroquinone but there are a lot of different types of Tyranese inhibitors out on the market and for this it's kind of a little different I like to just go and I'm, I'm gonna move a little bit so that I can see myself in the mirror. But I like to just put it on where I have acne forming or like dark marks left over. And those are the only areas that I actually put it in. I don't put it over my entire face. I know you're probably like wondering why because there wasn't you probably can't even see most of the marks because they are pretty light but still I want to treat them and make sure that they're completely gone now that that is done I'm actually gonna let it sit on my face until it dries up a little bit and seeps into my pores so again I will be taking another break and coming back after it is almost completely dried in my skin okay so at this point most of the product is soaked into my skin whatever is left over I'm just gonna gently rub into those areas And the next step is going to be moisturizer. I use the only Your RX um, Moisture Replenish Cream. And I'm gonna use about this much, and this is gonna cover my whole face. So we're just gonna tap, 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 never rub together because it's gonna rub into your fingertips and you want it to be on your face. So then tap, 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 and then I can also get underneath here. And again, in upwards sweeping motions. And I like to coat it pretty heavy because your skin is repairing at night. And you never want to leave your neck out of the equation because your neck and your decollete end up showing your age before a lot of other things and your hands. So you wanna keep them moisturized to prevent wrinkles and mature skin. Okay, so that is all in. And a couple other things I do. I take a little bit of aloe vera gel and any spots that I have that are like active, I just go ahead and dab a little bit on there just to calm down those areas and then I'm just gonna take some Vaseline and I'm gonna put it right over those areas and any dry spots that I have um, on my face okay and last step for my skincare regimen is going to be my Laneige lip mask and I'm just gonna dip my finger in and put a generous amount on my lips because your girl has some big lips and they get dry pretty easily so i like to keep them moisturized last thing i'm going to take some more of that vaseline and i'm going to create an occlusive barrier right on top of my lips 
It's like slugging for your lips. That was also why I put it over the top of the areas that had active breakouts because it allows it to really sit there and penetrate and to have a protective barrier over it. Okay, that's it. That's going to be my full night skincare routine. I hope this was helpful and I hope you stick around for the next one, which will be my AM routine. If you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe to join the family. I have three previous videos on how I cleared my acne, so make sure to check those out as well. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.